Who drew the nocturnal though? I ain't even gonna lie to you. Oh, this is about to scare the f out of me. Whoa! Stop! Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melo, and today we're getting into a special video. <laughs> yeah, boy. I don't know what this game is, but it's still special because it's a new game made by one person, and it's supposed to be like, you know, Telltale and until dawn and shit we about to be getting into some cool stuff bro i seen two people play a demo of this uh berlizzi and another guy which i hope y'all know because to me i think he's the funniest dude on youtube besides so, myself so. <laughs> but uh <laughs> it's this other guy named it's real 85 like go ahead and check him out i already know majority y'all already know about berlizzi i'll be surprised on how many y'all know about it's real 85 he deserves a lot more recognition and stuff but we're gonna be getting into this i hope you enjoy it put down in the comments below what other freaking games you would like for us to play and with all that being said y'all let's go ahead and get into nocturnals man let's get it all right y'all so nocturnals contains cartoon violence and gore would you like to keep this enabled hell yeah bro i want to see people's guts getting ripped out the heads getting torn off man All right, the gameplay, let's look at these settings right here. So music, everything, simplified QTEs. Ah, oh, hell nah. I want this stuff to be difficult as possible, even though I've never played a PC game before in my life. Can I play with controller? Controller, you ain't say nothing but a word. <laughs> it just made it easier for me now. Oh, I do not like playing with mouse and keyboard. I don't know why people like playing with mouse and keyboard so much, bro. There we go. And then the UI just changes like that. That's what's up. I like that. Opt for more immersive experience without story hints. Story hints. Diego thinks Ted is being strange. Let me, let's try, let's try the immersive. Oh, y'all like the hints? All right. I don't know how to do the hint. Do I got to do it with my mouse? Oh, okay. So uh, I guess let's go with the guided then. All right. Choose your play style. Okay, so this can be different. All right, yeah, let's make this immersive. Your choices shape the story of Nocturnals. Choose carefully. Welcome to Langrass. Can you help me, bro? I got a crick in my neck. Where is everyone? Shit, you see him right there on the ground? I would have took that gun right there that the dude was holding. Yo, I don't think that I'll be able to survive in a freaking apocalypse, man. Like, just just kill me. <laughs> I'm not about to freaking just sit out there trying to hold on for hope that maybe we can get back to where things used to be. I'm straight. We don't know how long that's gonna take. Welcome to Ruddle Side. What are these names, bro? I like the music right there, man. That was a pretty cool intro. Hello? I'm just looking for some fuel. Is anyone here? Oh, it's first person? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, I forgot the damn demo already. So, the art style is actually pretty interesting, man. I like what they did, you know. I already know ain't nothing over there. I'm about to get my butt killed. Hopefully I'm going the right way. They say you can run with LB. Oh, so there's a stand -a bar. Ah, uh, can I open this door? Nope. Damn, we got these graves. Tamilia, I'm so sorry I let you down. You didn't want to leave, but I made you come with us because I promised you we could make a better life here than the Durr Yard. What are these names? Forgive me, Mia. 
So we gotta collect letters like this is freaking slender, man. There's no food. That's interesting. I've never seen any of them do uh, do that in the demo. I didn't even know there was something over here. I didn't even know you could go this way. I know you gotta go through the fence. I remember seeing that in the damn demo. I just, I forget what, oh, it was right. I walked right past it. That's crazy. <clears throat> Shoot, just like Outlast, bro. The beginning of the game, you had to go under a fence. Oh, hell no. I don't like this game already. It's definitely giving me some Walking Dead vibes, bro. This actually is a nice hideout. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't even... Bro, I completely forgot that... Yeah, the demo was like damn near two months ago. I completely forgot that this was the way that you were supposed to go. I thought that they went through the front damn door. Oh! Ah, jeez. Oh, at least I'm in. Our staff are always happy to help. Well, can you help me with a concussion? Damn. Like somebody just streaked some dookie right there. Can you even go through here? Oh, this book. I need to practice my reading at some point. Bru I'm not very good. How long has it been, bro? You don't know how to read? And you're all by yourself. Hey, at least he can read a map though. His survival skills is on point. Dude, doing all this stuff by himself. Loading bay. Oh, I love monkeys. Damn, somebody's racist. Come on, man. Guys, you lived here. I wonder what happened to them. Hmm. So that was Millie. And then this is Maggie. Oh, no, no, the, Mia, Mia. They said uh, it was from Mia. Damn, damn, y'all look like y'all sisters, bro. Dang, that's tragic. Izzy and Kara. Damn. Look like it was nothing but teenagers here. Okay. Okay. After what happened, I've changed the password. It's accessories, living room, dining room, bedroom, Maggie. All right, accessories, living room, bedroom, dining room. So what number is this? All right, one, seven, nine, two. Shoot, I'm nosy, man. I wanna know what happened. That's the password. Accessories, living room, dining room, bedroom. Oh, I did it wrong. My bad. <laughs> uh, I thought I had it. One, seven, nine. No, that's still wrong. Hopefully, uh, alarm doesn't go off. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Why you say like, yeah? Yeah, sound like that boy special. Yeah. <laughs> what am I looking for? Oh, fuel. Finally. <laughs> Kid today. Okay, okay. Is there anyone else with you? Mia, where the f you come from? Tell the truth. Uh, I'm a lie. Yeah, and the, and they're waiting for me outside. I don't believe you. You would have come in with them. No, they wouldn't. In a situation like this, you're not any good at it. Look, I just. What are you talking about? Just because you got trust you issues, somebody sitting out there in the car. I, I, I don't care about that. Then what do you want? From somebody me? watching the car, making sure the car doesn't get stolen. The one you just drove in here with. No, no. Mia, what's taking so long? We don't have time for this. Once the sun goes down, it'll be back. Forget all this. Just shoot him and let's <gasps> go. 
Hey, yo, Dirty Diana, shut your stupid ass up. Why do you need my truck? There's a nocturnal in Ruddleside. Why can't we be together then? Why can't we all just go together? Sure, we can just sit on each other's laps and share all our food supplies like a happy family. I mean, well, yeah, I got food, y'all got food, and then I got a truck. Like, come on. Sita. So? Idiot out of his misery. He's a fucking kid. I'm, this girl's stupid. I'm Hand over the keys. I'm not giving you shit. Okay. Drop the gun now. Whoa, whoa. Freeze! Or I'll blow her fucking head off. Freeze, monkey! I didn't know he had a gun. Drop it. Stop resisting. That boy pulled that gun out like he was a cop. No! Can I get the gun? Damn, man, I... Ah! Uh. Fuck! Oh! Woo! Just give me the keys. Oh! No! You steal our things. Wait. I almost got it. Oh my god. Come on. Go! How you drop the fuel? How did they get the gun back? How did they even get over behind the door? I've had enough of you. I'm not shooting her. Get away from me, Troy Palomalu. Maggie, Ugh, give me that. Okay. Oh my God, no. Why? Fuck. Oh yeah, I ain't got no gas. <laughs> I was about to say, why does the cars always gotta do this shit in these movies and games? I don't even got car insurance. Oh, you. Why you gotta be so petty, bro? I wonder if the nocturnals are pretty much like a quiet place. I can't wait to play that game when it comes out. Damn, that sign going down fast. He was like, yeah, I'm on my break. Sure, I just clucked out. Oh, why she had to do that, bro? It's my car. Ugh. Where am I? You're alive. <gasps> Sorry about that. Oh, you that one guy. I forgot your name already. It's just for my own safety, you know? Izzy, right? Oh, Diego. It says right there. Where door at? Stitch me up. Yeah, sorry. My stitching isn't the best. No, 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 no. You, you saved my life. <laughs> well, you're welcome, I guess. So, what, you better start flirting with me, bro? So, wh where exactly am I? I mean, what is this old rusty thing? It's where I live. Oh, sorry. What? It's fine. <laughs> I mean, you're like, yeah, he doesn't know where he is, bro. You ain't, you don't have to apologize. My truck. How did this all even happen? 
Uh, I need to know I can trust you. Two petty bitches wanted my truck and couldn't get it because they didn't have a truck. I was so they said, hey, if we can't have a truck, nobody can have a truck. Stopped at that furniture place to look for fuel. Furniture Valley? Yeah, that's it. Wait, do you know them? Those people there? No, I stay away from that place. There used to be a whole group, but the nocturnal attacked them a few days ago when I arrived in Ruddleside. I'd be surprised if any of them are still alive. Yeah, there were two of them. They robbed me. As I was trying to drive off, one of them shot my tires out. That's why I crashed, and oh, I must have blacked out. Not your lucky day, then. Yeah, you could say that. At least I'm alive, though. Thanks to you. Now, why did you help me? Dad, by the way, I'd shake your hand, but... <laughs> What's stopping you from using your left hand? That's, not the That's my jack-off hand, bro. And I haven't washed it. <laughs> Just don't try and kill me. That's all I ask. Thanks. Diego. Nice to meet you, Ted. Um, that's a cool name. Thanks for rescuing me. Yeah, let's say thank you, bro. Like, it took you this long to say thank you. Thanks for looking after me. I wouldn't have been able to do this by myself. I'm amazed you've lasted this long then. Yeah, me too. You know, I've been looking for a community for a while, but... Well, I've had no luck. Do you know of any around here? With Furniture Valley out the picture, I don't think so. You're actually the first person I've seen in a while. Damn. So how have you been able to survive? Ask, why do you want to find other people? There's strength in numbers. It's not nice to be alone. Really? These are the answers, man? Both these answers sound kind of corny. I ain't gonna lie to you, but... From what we've learned about this dude, he's obviously young, so I'ma just go with his character and say it's not nice to be alone. Well, I don't know, I mean, it's not nice to be alone. I guess I, I like being with other people. It's not nice to have to rely on people either. No, but what's the point in surviving if you're just gonna do it alone for the rest of your life? Isn't the point to spend it with other people? I mean, that's what they did in the past. I know what you mean. I get did you just it. roll your eyes at me, bro? How nice it could be to talk to someone Boy, else, sassy. especially my own age. <gasps> oh, that's a cool ass sound effect. I wonder how he did that. That boy, like, I, I think I smell somebody. It's gone. Of course. As if this town wasn't bad enough already. It's got a fucking nocturnal. Must have heard your truck crash earlier. I still don't know what I'm gonna do about it. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> no, no. I was just thinking about how I know where another working car is. Do you know where some food is? Like, damn, bro. Half of my food spilling out my damn wow. stomach hole. Like, can you help me up? With cars out communities. I mean, that's where I got my truck from, at least. I thought the rest had rusted away, no? This one was stored indoors. Perfect condition, fully fueled up. All it was missing was a battery, like the one in your crashed truck. Amazing. What are the odds that the battery I got will fit that car? First, let's make this a deal. If I show you where this car is, then you can drop me outside of Ruddleside, and we can go our separate ways. Do you? Oh, you'll let me keep the car. Yeah. Hell yeah. Bet. Sounds good. But you aren't going anywhere in that condition. We'll have to wait a couple of days for your wound to heal properly. Try not to get cabin fever. Fever? Are you sick? Is it contagious? I can't tell if you're joking. It's not an actual disease, it's a saying. As in, we'll get sick. Well, shoot, well, I'm sorry, bro. I'm illiterate, man. I hope not. I'm not that smart. Right, we need to sleep. I'll stay up a bit in case it You can't back. say phrases to me, bro. <sighs> Good night, Ted. Good night, Diego. Oh, I thought it was going to be like the end of an episode or something. I was about to be pissed. <laughs> Oh yeah, he crushing on him, bro. He really drew him like that. That's crazy. Should that dude bathing himself? Like, yeah, you like what you see? 
cutting his hair and shit. They laughing together. It looks like it's getting better. Shoot, can you kiss it? Or you can kiss me. <laughs> hmm. That's all y'all did in three days? Find Diego, so I gotta find my man. All right. Hmm. I still haven't heard him play guitar yet. She, I've been too busy cuddling up and making out, huh? I feel you. Lord of the Flies. Ah, that must be a reference. Something in this game must be like a reference to the Lord of the Flies. Collect this page. The end of dinosaurs. All right, so I got the two letters. So that's pretty much all we needed. Did he like this? I hope he beat his meat to it. Look at this t-shirt. For years, I got a nice hoodie now. Mm, so he been teaching himself how to play guitar and teaching himself how to speak Spanish. Or a little bit more, because this is advanced, so. <clears throat> Enjoy your lion. I was starting to think you'd died of your injuries. You know, I was getting cold because you wasn't I'm there. An exhaust. <laughs> I need, I need to chill out. Sitting around in a train carriage all day can be so tiring. Hmm. My wound's getting a lot better. Good. No fever or anything? Nope. Just cabin fever. <laughs> so, what are you up to here then? Making a fire pit. We need to eat before we head out. Wait, we're leaving today? I could use a couple more days still. We have no choice. The Nocturnal's been here twice in three days now. Golly, man, and that thing with them small skinny feet making them big pounding noises. Okay, one of us needs to gather logs. The other should look for food. Take your pick. Um, I want to look for food. Looking for food sounds more interesting. I'll search the forest for food. You'll be okay with your wound? Well... If we're leaving today, I'm gonna have to walk sooner or later. Shoot. <laughs> My butt's sore, but you know, I gotta walk that off. Poisonous and which are safe, yeah? Yes. I should have went for the logs. I'm about to kill this dude. <sighs> okay. I'm about to kill him, bro. Fine. See, here, here got the log right here. I could have just chopped oh, that God. up. Looks like his wing's broken. Yeah. <laughs> So his wings must taste good as hell. Food for the power of us. Kill him. Shoot him. <laughs> just like that? They were like, damn, that's how we do each other, bro. You just kill me like that, huh? <laughs> you ain't sh bro. My bad. Like, damn, you wasn't doing nothing anyway. See, what the f you think? I had a broken wing, bro. You could have helped me. Yeah, I did help your ass. About to fill up my stomach. You a look at all these logs. I don't even really think I should have shot the bird. I couldn't like kick them or stomp on them or something. That's it. No mushrooms. You said, nah. Seem like you ain't a f vegan. All right, bro. Right, I think I'm done. I'm back. All he got was a bird? That ain't gonna be enough. Um, a bird? Why are you making that face? It's food. <sighs> are you a vegan? Let's see. Like, oh, why you have to kill the innocent little birdie? Man, shut your ass up, bro. We're trying to survive right now. just had a little snack bro i thought we was actually gonna get some food well it's not the worst thing i've ever eaten go on what was the worst thing some booty i ate a meerkat once what 
Permission. Shit, that boy was like, huh? You talking about my butt? A type of mongoose found in- No, I know what meerkat is, which makes me think you don't. It can't have been a meerkat. There aren't any native to these parts. Didn't I tell you that I grew up in a zoo? In a zoo? But it was a metaphor. No, I told you. I grew up in an abandoned zoo. Wow. Yeah, it still had meerkats and... Oh, and it had a gibbon named Lulu. And you ate that too, huh? Did a monkey survive all this time? They eat grass and shit, I guess. Make a joke. So, do I want to make a joke or do I want to be a smart ass? I think I want to make a corny joke. Let's make a corny joke. Well, I just slept in trees and ate bananas. <laughs> ah, that was terrible. <laughs> that, what? That was awful. But I understand he was trying to make it seem like he was a gibbon or whatever. Okay, you ready to head out? Hey, bro, how long it took yeah, you to take that dookie, bro? So. Wait, are you leaving all your stuff behind? Yeah, it's just stuff. None of it's worth my life. Except my guitar, of course. Bro, are you hitting nocturnals with a guitar? That sounds badass. Not gonna happen. I'm rubbish. Come on. I've never heard someone play guitar before. Man, let's go! Seriously? Maybe I'll play you something once we're out of road. Yes, when we're in the car, he can play something. That's let's if we make get it going, bro. We still need to get there before sunset. Come on, let's go. Dude over here sitting here trying to flirt. So, where are we going then? To the high school. That's where the car is. Man, we about to go through this tunnel? Oh, hell no. Nah. No wonder this nocturnal been over here back and forth, bro. Here, take this. Man, I got a gun. You can hold that. Wait. We're going down here. Isn't that the kind of place nocturnals live? Trust me, it's the fastest way to the school. We'll be fine. This is dumb, bro. We should have just left early in the morning. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. I'm about to get scared. Don't go too far ahead. I don't want you getting lost down here. You mean you don't want to get lost down here? Oh, don't worry about me. I think I know what I'm doing. No, I believe you. You seem to have made it this far. This is exactly the kind of place a nocturnal would live. It's sheltered from sunlight and... Hey, why don't we talk about something else? Why are we so loud, bro? How are you finding that Boss Wigo hoodie? Does it fit okay? Yeah, it's great. Shoot, anything you wear fits okay. What does Boss Wigo mean? You're trying to change the subject, like, stop! The town I grew up in. Now that I think about it, you haven't really mentioned anything about your past. I don't really want to talk about it. Um, tell me! I'm nosy. I told you about growing up in a zoo. Okay, but I oh, didn't grow up dancing around with monkeys. It's just... Sorry. I just lost someone, okay? Simple as that. Why are you walking so fast, bro? I just found out the hard way that getting too close to someone only leads to pain. So that's why you prefer to be alone. Ted, just drop it, okay? What about your parents, bro? Where are your parents at? Is that who you're talking about? Or are you talking about your parents? Because, bro, you're only a teenager. You're not a freaking adult who had freaking kids and a wife. Not a, come on. Or a husband or whatever. Sorry, Char was in a hurry to go home and watch the rocket. The rocket? Left the rope in the maintenance room. Oh, I'm gonna have to find that. Obviously. Okay. Where are we at? I don't even know where we are. So there was a rocket. Did the rocket bring these aliens here? Pretty much like Cloverfield? Or no, Cloverfield was something else. I think. I forget. Oops. Okay, um... Surely there's gotta be something you can use. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, it's fine. There'll be... There'll be something. Yep, I gotta get that rope. So I gotta go to the maintenance room. <sighs> Where is that at? Be careful. Now I'm about to get scared, bro! I didn't even know that we 
went down that far. Oh my God, we got this big area. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I didn't like how this freaking noise just changed. I already know I gotta go down this way. Why would this dude have me go by myself, bro? Is that the maintenance room? Is this the maintenance room? I need to hurry up and get up. Where's that rope at? Where's the rope? Oh, shoot. I could be a handyman. If it, oh, is somebody behind me. Get the rope. Oh. I'm just going to go back to Diego. Everything's fine. No! Golly, so the nocturnals look like a big ass bull, bro. I hope that dude is all right, bro. Turtle, bro, come on, man. I already know he's faster than me. Oh my god, I'm glad that I get unlimited stamina right now. Jesus, baby, <laughs> what's the funnel? Okay, come on, quick. Well, hurry up, man. Grab the damn rope. No, my guitar. Man, f that guitar, bro. Uh, leave it. Let's go. I'm leaving that. Man, leave that f guitar. F that damn guitar. Are you serious? It's just a damn guitar. You can find another one. Cause I know if I would have went to save that guitar, somebody was gonna get hurt. Either Diego was gonna get killed or I probably was gonna get hurt or get into some type of situation. So I didn't want to risk that. And it's, it's a damn guitar, like it don't matter. You better not start crying over that guitar, bro. The guitar was a present from my mom. I'm sorry. Maybe I should have no, don't be silly. Wasn't worth your life. <sighs> Alright, cool. Okay. Now he's making me feel like I should have I freaking should have saved the guitar. Because now it's making me seem like he would have been alive. The school's just up this road. Oh, what's over here though? Oh, I can't go over there. Damn it. He's like, damn, where the hell are you going? I'm trying to look into the damn cop car, bro. Follow me, bro. Hard-headed ass. Who the hell you think you're talking to? Is Rodelside near any craters? No, no. The nearest impact site's like hundreds of miles away. It's over. Yeah, I thought so. There's too many trees and the buildings here are too intact. I wonder why the military came through here then. They probably came through every town when it all started. But whatever they were trying to accomplish, they obviously didn't get very far. Oh, hey man, let's go play some tennis or soccer or something. I don't know. What field is this? Oh, another letter to James. As soon as they started burning up the sun, I came back here. Burning up the sun? Back to where you asked me to be your girlfriend. I wanted to leave you a note in case you ever came back to find me too. 
What? If you ever find this, come find me at Duryard. Seems like that's where we need to go. Unless we were already there. Man, you moving too slow. Maybe. Wow, they won't let me run. See? I told you I knew where I was going. Man, shut up! You lost your damn guitar, thinking you know everything. We could have easily probably just walked around. Wait, look at those. Those look fresh. Somebody's old pair of glasses. Are those easy gang screeners? You want to try them on? It's nearly dark. Sure, why not? Why is this a decision? Like, it's literally going to take me freaking 20 minutes to put on the glasses. Man, give me them damn glasses. Sure, why not? You know, I'm actually kind of short-sighted. Don't tell me that. You're supposed to be driving us out of here. It's not like there's other cars on the road. Go on, put them on. They're probably not even my subscription. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, we definitely flirting. I don't think these are right for my eyes. Just did all that just for you to throw them. What? <laughs> Still suits you though. Ugh, what's that smell? <gasps> Damn, like Final Destination. I guess we found who owned the glasses. I never noticed him before. Ugh, how long has he been here? You should be used to it. It still freaks me out. I don't think you could ever really get used to something like this, bro. I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to it. That's probably a good thing. Come on, let's go. <coughs> Damn, you just land on your head like that, bro? You ain't dead? I'm always falling into places, I swear. How you ain't break your neck, cuz? <laughs> that boy went head first. It's like frozen in time. I guess no one's been here since the impact. Explains why the car was untouched. Frozen in time. How long has it been, bro? Obviously there's a note here. I'm gonna have to find it. Ted. Somebody was having prom or homecoming? Wow. I don't understand. Damn, all this happened on prom night? This? I thought school was supposed to be boring. It's called a prom. They had them at the end of their school year. To celebrate their release? Something like that. The release. <laughs> Mad at their prom. They always talked about it. I don't know who my parents were. I think they died when I was a baby. So who did you grow up with? Who raised you then? The people at the zoo? Nah, the animals. Yeah. And they were only teenagers at the time. I don't know how we made it so long. Eventually someone found us and... No wonder he doesn't know how to read. After that. It's where I learned how to read, shoot, drive. And that's where you stole the truck from? No, I, I didn't steal it, Diego. That whole place got overrun with raiders and I barely escaped with my life. Seems like you can handle yourself either way. I think he's lying. The car's just down here. I think he's lying, bro. That might be a twist right there in this game. We might find out that he did run away. So weird to think they celebrated the meteor. If only they knew what was coming. Damn, I know, right? So it is like freaking that movie Cloverfield. So they were really trying to go to outer space, do research on a meteor or something. They knew this meteor was coming and they didn't realize that the meteor actually was bringing in freaking aliens. So it's, it's also like a, a quiet place as well because... A Quiet Place has a lot of influence 
on the world today. I'm not even going to act like it doesn't. That's why they are so adamant on trying to create a quiet place franchise. Say, Tashan, I figured out how to change the door lock so we can have some alone time during prom. It's my table number and yours. Oh, so I'm going to have to figure that out. All right. So who was this from? Hattie. So Sean and Hattie. So their table numbers. All right. I'll be right back. I like how there is some puzzles and stuff in this game, though. That's cool. So Sean, where's Sean at? Sean. Sean's zero one. And Hattie is... I wonder if they were in the middle of the prom or they didn't even get to go. Hattie is five. So zero one, zero five. Can't believe they really tried to do that stuff in the school. I never did anything in the school, but I do know some people I went to school with that did some stuff in the school. There was one time I saw uh, a couple coming into the class and uh, you know, the girl was doing this with her lips and stuff, and you know what that mean, bro. And the dude was That's fixing cool, himself man. up and stuff. So little. Is the car big enough? You're little? Yeah, I'm a flirt with him. You're little. <laughs> what? <laughs> we should leave in the morning when it's light. We don't want a nocturnal coming after us. Well, then we should sleep in the car, to be honest with you. Now is this shuttered door. Don't touch power. it! Okay, well, we've got all night, so don't worry. I still need to put the battery in, so while I work on that, why don't you try and get the school's power back on? I'll have a look around and see what I can find. This gives me bad memories. They had one of these at Furniture Valley. Mm, I hope I hope we can meet them again. I was hoping that they was the ones that uh actually patched me up. All right, what am I looking for again? This must be where Diego got all his books from. Oh, here we go. Of course. Another door code. Okay. There we go. <sighs> Just as I expected. Good thing I'm be looking around and stuff, man. I'm always trying to look around. Wow, we need backup fuel. Ain't that about a bit. I, I think I know where to go. Where was that fuel at that we saw? Oh, that's not. Oh, it's right here. Oh, I didn't even know. I, I was looking at that. We really should have poured half of that into the car first. I don't know if this was smart. How did he did it? We just made ourselves a target. We should have waited until before we was going to leave, man, to do something like this. All the staring and smiling that they do to each other is like... I'm necessary, bro. Like, <laughs> come on. So, what's the plan once we get out of this town? All I care about is getting as far away from Riddleside as I can. Maybe somewhere warmer. Yeah, definitely. My ears get really sore when it's cold. Oh. What? No, nothing. But that reminded you of somebody? Do you think things will ever go back to how they were? Like, before? Hmm. I don't think it can ever be the same. Is it the same guy voiced in these characters? And he probably just like pitched his voice. I think he can. I'm gonna just be positive. I'm gonna be stupid. Why not? 
with the Nocturnals dying out, surely what's left of the world can rebuild. Oh, they are dying out? How do you know that? What's left of the world would want to. You think they wouldn't? The people who would have wanted to would never have survived this long. Well, I did. Man, you was a baby! <laughs> Diego thinks Ted is incompetent. About damn time. It took you this long to figure that out. I've never killed anyone, you know. I'm worried I might have to once we're out of Ruddleside. Well, people are trying to kill each other inside Ruddleside too. Remember what happened to me at the furniture store? Yeah, but you didn't kill anybody. And you got away okay. Have you ever killed anyone before? Yeah, but only people who were bad. How do you decide who's bad? Well, the people who attacked my zoo were bad. And they killed children. Okay, yeah, that... that's bad. I guess it's something I'll have to face sooner or later. What with the world like it is? We should sleep. Oh, there you go. He's making his first move. Oh, I see you, Ted. Damn, okay, Ted. That boy Ted think he's slick. All right. I mean, you just leave me on the floor like that, bro? Why do you even leave this open? Like, what was the point of that? You should have closed it. Diego? Find Diego. That boy is in the gym. I already know. Just with this music playing, he's in the gym. See? I knew it. And then we're about to dance. Did I wake you up? No, no. It's, it's fine. I think the sun's almost up now. Oh. We're, we're about to kiss. I already know. I could just feel the tension. So, what are you doing here? Couldn't sleep. How come? Should have should have cuddled up with me. Stuff. What stuff? I'm good at stuff. Well, you got me thinking earlier, talking about our plans. I'm just, I'm just worried you're thinking about them as our plans, as in together. Damn, he's trying to put me in the friend zone. To go our separate ways. I just have this memory screaming at me from the back of my head whenever I picture us leaving together. I know you think surviving together out there would make things easier, but I've done this all before. Damn, so I'm just another one of your play toys? I was traveling with the only person I've ever really cared about. We chose to leave Bos Vigo so we could start a new life somewhere else, just us. I was so naive back then. I thought our plan was perfect. When I woke up the next day, I found out it was only my plan. Oh, he dipped you? Theirs was to abandon me with all our belongings and leave me for dead. And I almost was. My 16-year-old self was out in the world with absolutely nothing except a knife in the back. I never want to feel that way again, Ted. Gee, I wouldn't do that to you. I just think, if we see our goodbyes outside of Rodoside, then we can at least end it on a nice note, you know? I don't want to let my past interfere. Let me move close to him. I understand. But I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't hurt you like that. Diego, I, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not them. You're missing the point. What if something else happened? I wouldn't... I couldn't see anything bad happen to you. I wouldn't let anything happen to you either. See, now we're about to dance. What are you doing? Well, look, if we're gonna say goodbye, then let's at least have a goodbye dance. What? I did not know this game was gonna be about this. Hey, get up, come on. Look. I don't think we're doing this right. I think this is how they used to do it. Okay, ready? What in the world? 
<laughs> hey, I'm gonna miss you. Kiss him. I'm sorry. You probably hate me, don't you? Man, don't hit me with that freaking bad bro, that 304 shit. I'm the only person you know. Even if I knew a thousand people. You're gonna hate me. Head be my favorite. Maybe I enjoying prom. Damn, why you got a cut block? Ted, what's going on? I'm finishing what Mia couldn't. Did you kill her? The, the truck is destroyed. No thanks to you two. Don't play dumb. I already found the car down the hall. That's my ticket out of here. Why you still gotta be a bitch? Like, we can do it together. No! Give me the keys. What happened to Mia, bruh? Mia's not going with you. What happened to her? How thoughtful of you to ask. Mia wasn't strong enough to do what had to be done. She left because of what you forced me to do. Whoa, I thought you probably killed her. Threatened us with a gun. Said he was going to blow my fucking head off. Time to see how he likes it. Damn, for real? That's how... <laughs> oh, shit! <sighs> Come on, quit. Oh, I know I gotta run. Said I know that bitch was ugly, right? Said Nocturnal to the rescue. Let me hold the door. Damn, that's crazy. I'll find us a way out of here. So what if I didn't put that gun to her face? Would she still have came here? That Nocturnal said he wanted that dark meat first. <laughs> Who drew the Nocturnal though? I ain't even gonna lie to you. I already knew this was gonna happen one time in this damn game, bro. I knew it. I just knew it. Oh, this is about to scare the fuck out of me. Wow! I thought that was gonna be the end of it, bro. Boy gave him the freaking Jurassic Park noises. Oh man, I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna do this. How do I do this? Do I press on this one? Diego, help me, bruh! Ah, oh, hell no, nah. that boy just looking right at me. So how do I do this, bro? What do I do? Wow, that boy Diego really treating me like I'm just a side, bro. Like he treating me like I'm a one night stand. Like that's how we doing it now. I'm del I'm delusional like some of these other hoes. Like the dude told you how he was, but you still acting like I thought we was gonna be together. I don't know what to do, bro. Where do I go? Do I open the door or something? Bro, I'm so lost, bro. This boy sneezing like crazy, bro. So is he like moving in circles or something or is he just standing in the same spot? Do I, do I gotta run? I don't know what to do. Like, do I just gotta go? And then just hope I can get to that uh other counter before he can see me? So do I just gotta do this? Really? 
The dude's staring right at me. Are you serious? This is garbage. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Really? I wonder what he does with those eyes. Does those eyes like hypnotize people or something? Is that a crawling in the vent? No! No! Bro, I did not know this game was gonna be scaring me, cuz. That boy was literally sitting in the car like, if this dude don't come in here in five minutes, I'm different. Like, are you serious? You didn't want to help me? That boy said, save yourself. Just because of that, I might not kiss this dude. I can't believe we actually made it. We're out of Ruddleside. I didn't think we'd ever get this far. So, does this mean are we still gonna go our separate ways? <laughs> are you kidding? We work well together. This dude wanna be with him so bad, bro. I was wrong to doubt you before. I just had to get- We work change. well together after you just left my ass? Yeah, don't worry, I get it. I'm just happy you're coming with me. I mean, we survived the nocturnal together. I think that proves you'd make it out there. So long as nobody else wants our car keys. <laughs> well, look what happened to the last people who tried that. And we're on our way without a scratch. Now it's two of us instead of one. Oh, but that one looks cool. Oh, really? You want me to give you one? I think I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> So this is it? Nocturnals, happily ever after. Ted and Diego left Ruddleside together. So I was warm most of the time. I could have been incompetent, competent, cold, or warm. I mean, I didn't really have that many choices, but this deal was pretty interesting. I appreciate you for making this game uh, Max Jolly. I hope that y'all enjoyed watching this video and experiencing this game with me, man. Y'all should go ahead and check the game out if y'all want to. And then let me know exactly where you got when it comes to like this whole chart or whatever. Did you get competent, incompetent, cold? Or did you get warm as well, man? But like I said, you know, please like the video, share, comment down below, subscribe, click the bell so you, uh, you know when I upload more videos and put in the comments down below what other games we should play. And with all that being said, I'll see you on the next one. All right, peace.